Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, it's Semi Original Guy, aka Mr. Cannon from Advanced with Bioweb, bringing you another community battle. Today we have a tournament match that happened a little while ago here between our friends Above Average Gaming and Average Alaskan. Now this was a tier 4 matchup in Fog, mixed base, very cool map. Welcome to the Thunderdome. I know. Pretty cool map indeed. Now this is a there is a lot, 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 lot of bases on this map. I believe each side has four bases and an airport and probably two airports. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty fun. We have a bunch of labs in the center that function as your HQs and a couple comm towers here and there, you know. And uh, yeah, very interesting map for sure. Now this one is a little bit tricky because you can either, there's a couple ways to approach it, you know, you can use your landers and your black boats to actually funnel infantry forward, uh, as well as vehicle units. There's also a little river system where you can get your little infantry folks swimming up river to uh, cause some havoc and you can use some transport copters to get them over there. It's pretty fun, pretty fun. I actually played in this tournament as well and this was actually the round that I ended up losing on because I was trying to do some shady maneuvers that I unfortunately just didn't really plan out too well so it ended up costing me in the match but regardless of the fact that is okay now the other thing that's pretty cool about this map is we actually have recons over in the corner that provide vision as you can see there five squares of vision you're able to see a little bit of what's going on not too too much but just enough just enough folks now, our two COs that we have today are Grim and Sammy. Now, as we know, Sammy, infantry specialist, 130% firepower for those infantry units, as well as a above average capture speed, 1.5 times faster. Her double tap ability will increase her infantry and mech movements by one, as well as give them a firepower bonus, and victory march increases that movement by two. And allows you to instantly capture things. The famous 1 HP HQ cap, folks. So that's what Sammy is all about. You know, it's said that a hero can save us, and that 1 HP infantry was the hero for sure. Alrighty. Now, in addition to that, unfortunately, Sammy does sort of lack a little bit of firepower in the direct combat units. You know, minus 10%. But, you know, with the addition of comp towers in this match, it shouldn't really play too big of a role. Now the other player here, Average Alaskan, has chose to play as Grim. Yes, Papa Grim, indeed. Now Grim gets 130% firepower to all his units across the board, which seems like a good idea, right? Seems like a good idea, but unfortunately the thing that Grim lacks is defense. Now Grim will actually lose 20% defense on a day-to-day -day basis, so his units are incredibly easy to destroy, very glass cannon-ish, you know? But with the addition of two comm towers on the map, that would bring his day-to-day -day firepower to 150%. So you can definitely imagine how devastating that could be if we get some first strikes here. Now, I believe his co-power will actually raise his attack power to 150% possibly, and I believe the co-power will raise it to 180. Don't quote me. I will put some information here so you can take a look at that, and we can make sure. Now, with that out of the way, Fog of War, mixed base. Let's get into the action and see who comes out on top. Alrighty, folks, we are going to start on day number one here. We can see that Sammy is rushing to go get those bases. Grim is also rushing to go get those bases. Grim playing as player two will get that additional infantry and be able to cause a little bit more ruckus here and there. Now, it looks like Grim actually making an interesting move here, bringing the black boat over on the port right away. It looks like we're going to be trying to get a capture, or not capture, but a... An infantry load right away so that'll be pretty cool we'll see if that ends up playing off Sammy did not actually do that we opted out of doing that maneuver now is it necessary to do it on day one not really necessarily 
Oh, but we do move the black or uh, blah, blah, blah. we move the lander over, but we don't actually bring the black boat up yet. It's very interesting. Like I said, once again, not really necessary to do it right now, considering that we still have a movement that we can do with the black boat. Also, in addition, Sammy will get a plus one movement bonus to those transport units. So, especially this lander, for instance, will be able to cover a long distance and maybe even get a little bit advantage with dropping off some units here. As you can see, there's not really too much space to drop units off, but with the additional one plus one movement, might be able to get over here, drop some units here, get down here, drop a unit right here, maybe an infantry or a mech on the mountain, get some extra vision. I don't know, folks. We're going to see. We're going to see. Day three. And we just have standard infantry builds also, folks. We cannot forget about our standard infantry builds. It is a staple of Advanced Wars by web. Always got to get the infantry on the field. We get a double boosty, double infantry on the main island already from our Grim player. Uh, we are going to see Sammy actually be able to do the exact same thing. Get a little bit of extra movement too. Get a little bit of extra vision. Now this is great because both players are going to be in a position where they can capture the comm tower as well as capture one of the properties. Possibly even the port wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Uh, however, the port, uh, capturing the port early would actually sort of ruin your landing chances a little bit here because you wouldn't be able to put a unit right there. So unless you're just transferring one unit with the lander right now, it might not be worth it. Although, I think the earlier you capture the port, the better, because then you don't have to do it later, and you'll be able to use that port to resupply. Obviously, you have a port by your, you know, little north, south, east, west islands here to resupply if necessary, but, you know, it's always good to just get that property out of the way. But we're going to see what happens here. Now, playing as Sammy is very interesting, because you could do a little bit of sneaky maneuvers i.e. capture those labs really really early if the Grim player is not paying attention. So we're going to see if they can catch on to that. Alright, mostly just more standard infantry builds. Now, the main difference right now is we actually see that the Grim player is going up and going for that airport capture, which can be incredibly effective. But we can get some early battlecopters into the fray here. Uh, that can severely limit Sammy's push, especially when it comes to like this area in the middle here. So, we're going to see if that pays off. Even a transport copter would be very good too. Transport copter would allow you to actually funnel infantry from this position onto the main island a lot quicker. So we're going to see if that comes into play. Now, unfortunately, it looks like Grim is actually not able to utilize both of the units at the same time both landers uh, same with Sammy at the moment she's not able to do that but we have some units on the main island right now so we're getting those essential caps we're getting the essential funds all right Sammy is going for double airports now and we have an anti-air build Ooh, anti-air build that's actually pretty good so the anti-air Looks like this lander is going to be able to go back here. Anti-air should be loaded up next turn. Not next turn, but the turn after. And we're possibly going to see a double... Double vehicle drop pretty soon. Alright. Beautiful. Alright, so we just basically skipped that turn a little bit. So, not really too much to know. It looks like Grim is pushing out... Got a couple more infantry on the mainland. That's about it. <laughs> Alright. Now this is cool because we actually have this infantry covered right now by this one. So if Sammy did actually go up and attack, would be spotted. However, it would be impossible to do so due to the vision. Now if we actually just move to, uh, let's say, like, you know, the forest, we would be able to get sights here. But we definitely do need some more... Uh, some more units down here. So we're going to see what happens with that one. Alright, so we are going for the cap. Now, I believe that this cap will... Ooh, 
Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be interrupted or not. I don't think it will be interrupted. Yeah, it doesn't even look like we're going to go in for the attack. Now, even if we did go and interrupt that cap, uh, Grim would end up losing that trade in the long run due to the defense debuff. So it's probably a smart idea that we just yeah, abandon the cap and actually just go for... Or abandon the attack and go for the cap. So interesting little movement right here. So we actually uh, put the the anti-air in the forest. It looks like we're doing that to actually avoid being spotted by the recon by the looks of it here. So not really too bad of a move. Uh, however, we are checking the replay next turn. We will see the anti-air move out of the position and we're gonna get a little bit more intel on there. But that is a sort of like a day late. Uh, for the intel, so, you know, smart for sure. Definitely put yourself in cover. That's the way you want to do it. Looks like Sammy's got a mech. We got an anti-air up north and just a buttload of infantry everywhere, folks. That's the way we do it. All right. Now, I believe we're going to finish capping those airports this turn. And we are loading up some more infantry, dropping all. See, we got the drop off right there in the forest too. So both players are playing with their noggins today. You know, they don't want their sneaky units to be, you know, seen. <laughs> so that's perfect. Now, uh, it looks like Sammy will know that there is a, uh, a tank coming because we do spot it here. Now, I don't think Grim actually has much intel about what is coming at the moment. No, Grim's got no no valuable intel. We know where some infantry are for sure, but uh, that's that's about it at the moment. All right, ooh, nice little double shot there, and unfortunately, the one HP infantry trying to move into the forest did get trapped, and it is not going to be moving anywhere too quickly. <laughs> so. That's a thing that happened for sure. All right, so we got tanks coming. Uh, we got caps being interrupted here. So as we can see here, the attack did happen. When the interrupt happened. Now, however, Sammy's still going to be able to get this property. But I don't think Grim is going to be able to hold on to the property uh, due to this anti-air being right here. Very clutch anti-air for sure. Now, if Grim actually had a tank... Uh, loaded out here. The anti-air would not be able to push him for sure. Now, it looks like Grim is going heavy on the eastern front here. Putting a lot of uh, lot of units over there. And we don't really have any air units built yet. Not a single battlecopter or nothing on the field. And one thing that I think about Grim that's probably pretty true. Is Grim enjoys his air units. Now, mostly the reason being... Some people might disagree with me, right? But when it comes to Grim, he's got no defense, right? And Battlecopters have no defense anyways, right? An anti-air is going to be one shot in the Battlecopter no matter what. Uh, but the one thing that I won't destroy a Battlecopter will be a tank. Or any other ground unit, for that matter. So in the meantime, your Battlecopters are going to be causing some ruckus. Some ruckus indeed. All right, so we're going to see how what uh, above average gaming manages to do here because we do uh, we see quite a bit of map presence here for sure, uh, but not not too much over here. A little bit right there, got a little bit more in the corner here. A lot more coming on the way, but overall not really too much. And it looks like both players have not actually capped the port either. Neither player has gone for the port. Okay. Um, not necessarily a bad idea not to go for the port, too, because going for the port would actually kind of hinder your progress uh, going up here for sure. But if we capped it early, then it wouldn't really matter too much. Um, the question is, is there really a good opportunity to cap it early? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right, we do got the mechs coming from the north. We got artillery coming from the south. And we're going to see if it, if it helps. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. 
Now, Grim's got a fairly commanding force right here. Not really too far behind on the units for sure, uh, but the problem mostly I see here is like we have a lot of units over here that are ready to cause some ruckus, but we don't really have too much here, so hopefully we'll be able to get some vehicles over here, start causing some ruckus over there. Ooh, nice big old fat one shot on the infantry right there. That's the kind of stuff that you grim players love to see. I love to see it. Double infantry drop in the south corner. Wow. Got an APC coming too. Interesting. So infantry was finished off. Definitely finished off in the correct spot too because I believe that the anti-air only has two visions. So the anti-air is going to be useless this turn uh, when it comes to actually destroying anything. So a very smart play right there. Uh, definitely attacked from the correct area. Using that big brain over there, Mr. Average. Yeah, I'm starting to think that he's not average. I just noticed that both of these players are average. Or maybe one's above average and one's average. Whoa. <laughs> Who would have thought? We got an average Alaskan and an above average gamer. We're going to find out who is going to be the most above average by the end of this for sure. Ah, there we go, Grim. We got the Battlecopter on the field. And it's going to be a little bit tough getting that Battlecopter over there now with the anti-air. But if we do actually uh, throw that tank out there, I think it'll be okay. Although double APC build, I'm not, uh, not entirely feeling that. Not too sure about that one. I feel like we definitely need some more vehicle units. Now, maybe the APC build is to keep the black boats alive. Because we can't actually reach the port. But there's one reason why Sammy is a little bit more effective here. Because we, since we have that extra movement, as long as we stay within range, we can always get to the port. As we can see there. Boom. Right to the port. Oh, and we're spotted by a tank, but we have a nice uh, mech in position right there. That's cool. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Ooh. Just out of range of the tank. However, we got this tank here, and this recon definitely has vision of that tank. So pushing forward for an attack right there, especially with no backup. No backup at all. Would not say that would be the best play. All right, anti-air moving in with the old double, or with the old uh, one, two, three combo right here. A little trifecta of damage, actually threatening the cap now too. Oh, now that is a good turn right there. Look at that, we get four reinforcements on the field in the middle, ready to go. That's very nice. Now we got the Battlecopter on the field from Sammy as well. So the one thing that above uh, the one thing that average Alaskan right now is lacking in a little bit is the funds game. Now we're behind by 4k funds. So on a map like this where you need to pump out as many units as you possibly can, I mean basically every dollar counts, right? Now when you're getting into uh, you know like light base or three base map. I can see like a fun deficit not really being too big of a deal. Uh, I've stated that a couple times in some of my previous videos, but I think for a map like this, where you are able to pump up just so many units, I kind of feel like every dollar counts, right? So we're going to see if that actually plays a role later on. Now we get a big old drop of two vehicle units, and it looks like we're going to get some massive hits here. Oh yeah, that's some good hits. And we're going in to threat the cap on the city. Very nice. See, this is just such a dynamic map. Pretty wild indeed. Pretty wild. Now, like like I said, like nobody has capped that port yet. It almost seems like that port is not really that important. Oh, pun city over here. Ooh, and we're spotted. 
Ooh, that was a nice little move. Okay, so we got two dead units here anyway, so we retreat one of them and we send one of them to their own demise in order to interrupt the cap. Not too bad. Sending the anti-air in to actually do a little bit of damage, take out one of the infantry. Using a T-copter now to actually push, uh... Looks like we're gonna be transporting that guy after he's done capping, so that's very cool. Artillery is in position here to actually interrupt the cap further. Now, I believe that might, uh, should probably be a KO, I'm thinking. The only reason it might not be a KO is, like, maybe if we join. Um, but, I don't know. It's kind of risky, you know. I don't really know if that's, like, a super great idea or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Uh, looks like we went for it anyways, but it uh, looks like we got the double anyways, right? So unfortunately, that's two units down right there. Alright, nice. Another threat of a cap right there. So very nice, very nice. More tanks in the middle. Oh, yes. The average Alaskan classiest person on the map for sure building that medium tank getting it on the field that is gonna be doing some damage all right average above average so let's see what we end up doing here oh and we're spotted I'm going in for a cap on the comm tower though that's very nice Oh, but we got a Neo tank in here from above average gaming. Now, unfortunately, in this scenario, a Neo tank is going to definitely be way more effective than a medium tank. Even if the medium tank might be much, much more classy. Neo tank, just with the additional movement. Yeah, it's not going to win the fight, sadly. But if we do manage to get a first strike, uh, especially with a co power first strike, ooh. Oh, that's going to be some devastating stuff. Oh, we got a bomber from above average now. All right, so our grim player, it looks like things are looking a little bit grim at the moment. Uh, no pun intended, actually, no pun intended. What am I even talking about? All right, so yeah, funds are looking a lot better. We're only buying by like 3k now, uh, but we definitely got to make something happen here. It looks like we're about to lose the comm tower. Um, and we don't really have too much presence here, you know, we're kind of losing ground. We got to get some more units on the field here All right, let's see what we managed to do Nice big hit on the anti-air. I like that. I like that <clears throat> Ooh there goes an infantry and a mech right there. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, unfortunately, in order to stop the cap on the comm tower, we end up going in range of an artillery. But we don't know that yet. Ooh. We have no idea what we just ran into here. Oh, see, this is what I mean about that, uh, that port. If we don't go for that port super early, and we go and try to capture it later, it can actually interrupt some... Uh, some momentum with the units here. Now, I don't think there's actually anything left on this, but if there was, oh boy. But it looks like we're gonna go for it anyway, so very nice. All right, so above average gaming, Ooh, nice big, what, was that a one shot? <laughs> Wild stuff, man, one shot, no defense. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's gaming. <laughs> That's above average gaming. Alright, bombers moving in, transport copters moving in. Looks like the infantry are slowly making their way forward uh, through the little river system there. And we're just getting ready to load up more units by the looks of it. Alright, so day 13 and it looks like we are primed and ready for a co-power here too. Uh, it doesn't really look like we have too many targets with for our co-power at the moment, but we're going to see if we actually get it or not. 
Um, no, it doesn't look like we're going to be going for the co-power, so that's that's not too bad. Probably not a great idea to go for right now. Oh, right in the battlecopter range. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see at all. But it does look like we're making some ground over here, you know. We're pushing forward. We're getting some nice hits in. No counter to the battlecopter right now. Um, well, except for the fighter, but it's like a day behind. You know, you got a little bit of time. You got some time to get some hits in. Another medium tank. Classy as all heck. And, you know, we kind of caught up a little bit, you know. 41 units. Uh, 185k. Not too bad. Although, it does look like above average game. And got a little bit more. You know, 195 with 44. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty tough. Ooh, and a big old bomber hit right there. Oh, boy. Oh boy, and Battlecopter's moving in. Oh, nice KO there, nice KO. Oh, the Neo Tank went right into classy range. Okay, we I I really really hope we get a super co power with a big old medium tank taking out a Neo Tank. Like please. Please give me that. That's just what I need. That's what we need on this channel is medium tanks against all odds taking out their superior Neo Tank. You think just because it's a big old golf ball with legs that it can push you around? No. I don't think so. Medium tanks, folks. Let's see. Please just tell me. Because it's not looking too good for average Alaskan right now, especially with that bomber. Uh, and the fighter roaming around here. Now, I think the Battlecopter is going to be able to get a little bit more damage in before the end here. Uh, definitely before it's taken out. Uh, as long as we attack down south. I'm really hoping we go to attack down south. One, two. Oh, I can just click it. Um, oh, no. Even if we... Uh, even if we attack down south, this is not going to be good. Ah! All right, we're gonna see what happens here. Oh, 48 units. All right, give me the super. Yes. Mmm, haymaker time. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, look at the damage, even with the defense bonus. Oh, uncovered the little artillery. Going in to take out the artillery. One shot city. Oh, God, that's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. The power. The power of the medium tank, folks. It's here. It's ready to go. Primed and ready. Now, unfortunately, it does look like above average, or not average Alaskan. It's too many average in this game, folks. Way too many average. But it looks like... We are getting somewhere. Um, but, ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. This could be the end, folks. This could be the end. I don't know. Okay, day 15. We got a... Oh, we got a victory march. And I think we see... I think you guys can see what I'm seeing right here, guys and girls. The whole, like, one or two girls that might be on the channel. I don't know. But, guys, girls, and everyone in between, I think we might have a Victory March situation here. Oh, yeah, we got a Victory March situation, and it looks like the, uh, oh, my God, one, two, three, four, five. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we got to see. We're going to see what happens here. We got to get that vision. Oh, yeah, get in the vision. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got one. Now we got to be very careful here. We got to get our vision. Oh. We went for another cap. What's that one for, though? Why do we go for that cap? We can get this cap. What are we doing? Am I missing something? Two, three, four, five. No. Oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no. No, we didn't. We didn't. We could have won the game and we didn't. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Ah. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. Oh my god. It just like. <laughs> Uh, this is the kind of stuff that you just don't want to see, folks. It's like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think this match is probably over at this point. 32k, 27. Uh, tons and tons of map presence. Even without the cap of the lab, I think it might be over. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, but we could have got it with the victory march. What are we doing? Oh my god, I'm just like <laughs> You know What's the word that the kids use triggered that's the one <laughs> oh It's like we could have did it could have got the victory march. It would have been great Would have been so easy to do too like look at this no, I screwed it up. Wait, where are we going? Where are we? Yeah, easy. So, like, we move here. Actually, this guy moved here, right? Where's that vision? Okay, yeah, we got that. Like, all we would have to do is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Just four. Just, just four, that's it. All we had to do was just move four squares. Oh, well. Looks like above average gaming is the winner today either way. So very, very nice, very well played. Very dynamic map indeed. Lots and lots of crazy things to happen on this map. Now like I said, this was actually one of the maps that I ended up losing on in the tournament. I actually did play Sammy too, but I was trying to be a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more cheesy, maybe getting a little bit ahead of myself, but hey, what can you do folks? That's the way it goes sometimes. But Hopefully you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the content. And if you enjoyed it and you're not already, please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next one. If you have any replays that you are interested in having featured on the channel, you could go ahead and send me a message on Advanced by Web. My name is Mr. Cannon. That is M-R period space C-A-N-N-O-N. Send me a message there. Or you could join my Discord and, you know, give me a shout there. And, uh, you know drop me a replay and I'll take a look at it and we'll see what happens. So, like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed. Take her easy, folks. Bye-bye for now.